Many new musical groups have made their appearance in recent years, but none more witty and more inventive than the six men who call themselves the Association. In order to combat the sudden influx of machines into our society, you see before you this evening a machine of our own construction. You see an association machine, composed of many integral parts, the first being behind and above us, a semi-reclined percussive invertebrator, or drummer. In the center of the machine, we see a flexible rhythm generator known as rhythm guitar. On the other end of the machine, we see a transistorized flexible rhythm generator stamped made in Japan. <laughs> to my immediate right, we see a manifold bifurcated tambouriner. I am a consistent low range modulator. Last but not least, on the other end of the machine stands the largest single component in captivity, an elongated fluting vocalizator. This machine, when programmed correctly, emits a variety of sounds and rhythmic patterns, such as... Association sing again, we'd like you to meet them individually and perhaps even get a glimpse into the personalities that it takes to make up such a group. Yes, a glimpse into the minds and talents of this wonderful group. Six young artists who have created their own style with no help from anyone. They've done it all by themselves, right out of their head. Uh, right, uh, yeah, right out of their own little heads. And in a group like the Association, the one member that is always in the background is the drummer. So we thought we'd try to remedy that tonight by introducing to you the drummer first. The drummer must be constantly alert to rhythm and tempo. He must be quick and able to adjust for it. it is his mind that controls the very pulse of the group. The association's drummer uh, was raised on a pig farm in Montana. <laughs> so the group, the association group, lovingly calls him the pig. <laughs> <laughs> 
So meet Ted Bushell Jr. I am Ted the Pig. I play the drums and hum vocal backgrounds. These are my drums. These are my hums. Mm -hmm. I am a hum drummer. How about that? He's very versatile, actually. Now here's Jim Yester, who sings the um, high voice in the group and is also the rhythm guitarist. That's right. You know, uh, Jim also does a great imitation of uh, Oliver Hardy. And would you do that for he us? Does? Yes, he does. Would you do that, Jim? I certainly will. No, no. No, he said, uh, that's, not, that's not Oliver Hardy. That's, that's Stan Laurel. No, it's not, Dickie. Yes, that's it is. I know Stan no, Laurel. No, it's Oliver Hardy. Uh, uh, Stan, see, Stan Laurel does this. <laughs> I certainly will. That's right. That's so, Stan Jim, let's do an imi our imitation of Oliver, Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy together. Love Laurel and Hardy. Ladies and gentlemen, our imitation of Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> okay, which one's Stan Laurel and which one's Oliver Hardy? Well, he, he is. is. <laughs> what else can you do? Well, I, I honk. You do what? I honk. You honk? Huh? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> We'd like you to read now Larry Ramos. Buenos dias, buenos dias, senor. No, 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 no. Tommy, that's bad Spanish, and besides, he's not Mexican. Yes, you see, he's from Hawaii. He's Hawaiian. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful. Gee, that's very nice. What are these? What kind of flowers are these? Uh, Paluna nui. Uh, in Hawaiian, that means the delicate tiger blossom of the rainbow maiden. Oh, that's one of they, they don't grow these in uh, they don't grow these in California or anything like that, do they? Oh yes, here they're called poison ivy. <laughs> now let's move over to Brian Cole. Brian is the bass player. The bass player, as you know, is the lowest member and musician in the band. <laughs> that goes for all groups, <laughs> even mine. <laughs> that's very funny, Tom. Uh -huh. <laughs> There you go. Brian, we'd like to ask you something. Do you think, or what should I say, how do I phrase this? What do you think, what future does the uh, association have? Well, I think it's too directly bound to its, to its own anguish to be anything other than a cry of total negation carrying within itself the seeds of its own destruction. So much for Brian. How about that? Yeah. Now let's uh, move over to Russ Jaguer. Russ? Yes. You know, I've known Russ for a long time, but you look different. What is it that makes you look different? Because you know we've seen each other a lot of times, you know, and I used like. to have a mustache. <laughs> What's that under your nose, then? Well, this? Well, this is, this is a house plant. I water it every day, you know. Why are you growing a house plant there? <laughs> well, if I left it home, you know, no one would water it. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Well, now it's time to, to move along our merry way to Terry. <laughs> now, Terry Kirkman is the tallest singer in the group, and he plays harmonica, recorder, and the flugelhorn. Uh, Terry was the one that also wrote the hit song, Cherries. That's right. No, the associate. No, 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 cherries. Cherish. Cherish, cherish not I, cherries. I thought, it was ch I thought it was cherries. No, it's, it's cherish time. Yeah. It is? Well, that sure changes the whole meaning of the song. <laughs> Uh, never mind that, Terry, but why don't you tell us how you, uh, how you picked out the name of the association? Uh, actually, Dick, we, we didn't pick the name. We were practicing one day, and the association knocked on the door, mm -hmm. and we answered the door, and it was us. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, now you know what it takes to make up a group like the association. So here they are, the association singing their new hit, Wendy. <laughs> 